Hey, what's going on internet? Today, I'm going to do a tutorial, a long awaited, how to create an NFT and an NFT collection on Coinbase NFT. Previously, I did a tutorial on the kind of behind the scenes dashboard of an artist profile before they launched. I also did a tutorial on how to list a NFT on OpenSea or on Coinbase NFT. And that was because they didn't have the create function. So uh, they finally have updated. They do have the create function. I haven't done it yet. We're going to do it together as always. Let's blockhead our way through this. If you are just now joining, I'm your host, Crisper. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button, ding that bell, and this is where we uh, come together as artists to make Wi-Fi bread. That's internet money, people, okay? Don't be a blockhead. All right, so uh, with all, let's, and with that, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to go ahead and I've logged into my MetaMask, so we're gonna go ahead and click sign in. I'm going to sign in with my MetaMask. Click sign. After MetaMask populates, bang. All right, so, man, look at that, 485 followers. No one cares. All right, so here you can see, we, we did our previous tutorial. These are the NFTs that I have on the Ethereum chain. Shout out to the Sketchy Apes. Shout out to Penguin Fight Club. Shout out to uh, my boy Prophet, who dropped me this board ape and we are going to come up to the top right and you'll see the create button so uh, let's go ahead and click that and uh, this next window that pop up pops up says creating a new collection minting a collection on coinbase nfts is simple as three-step process each step requires paying an ethereum network fee all right so with that we have three phases so creating a new collection adding the content and then schedule the listing details let's go here we go let's start okay awesome so um describe your collection we'll walk you through creating a collection that you can list on any marketplace including OpenSea. choose the option below carefully they can't be changed later so it looks like um our collection types are an erc 721 every nft in your collection is a one of a kind such as 100 unique images erc 1155 some nfts are the same for example five images with 20 copies who will mint your NFT? I'll mint it myself. You'll pay the network fee for each NFT or my community will mint and your buyers will pay for the network fee. Okay, so I think with this collection, everyone knows the Bitsons are our 1155s and they have been going crazy. I've always minted them myself and the community just pays for their, for their purchase and their transaction fee for that purchase. So on this one, I think I'm going to go on the ETH chain. I'm going to make every piece one of a kind because I'm kind of over here now in, as we're rolling into 2023. I think that we've, and I've vocalized this, I'm kind of over the whole profile picture collections of NFTs or making, you know, a thousand copies of one piece which i've got the soup can has a million prints of that one nft so i'm going to do one of ones because i think that's the future of nfts is having 100 percent original art and if you decide to like beeple does one you know one of ten and he'll release that same one nft ten times but it is unique in the sense that this is number two of ten or three of ten and I'll pay for the minting myself. So I'm going to go with ERC721 and I'm going to mint myself. So that's what I'm doing. If you have any questions about what kind of contract or collection you're going to release or if you or your community should mint, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below and we'll chop it up. So I'm going to click next. All right. So um, this is describing the collection. Um, we're going to tell us about your collection, add the address that will receive the funds from the mint, and also choose what address will receive future royalties each time your NFT are sold. Great. 
So I'm going to go ahead and add this. All right, all right, all right. So we have the collection name is AI Art by CRISPR. Uh, my description is this collection was designed by artificial intelligence and created by the artist CRISPR. I did 20% on the royalty amount. I feel like a good waiter at a restaurant. 20% is standard. I'm not your marketing agent. That's 10%, okay? Royalty recipient, my address. Minting revenue recipient is my address, even though I will be minting it myself. Um, and that looks like that's it, but it won't let me create the contract. So let's find out why. All right, so it looks like you have to click the picture. It's very eluding because the uh, mouse doesn't change but you uh, double click the picture and you have to upload your collection logo uh, or image, whatever you want to do. So I'm using the classic CRISPR logo with AI in the spinning uh, logo. So now we can see the create contract has been deployed or uh, is now accessible. Um, I'm going to double check all this real quick and go through it. All right, everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click the create contract button and we'll hope for the best. Hopefully it's uh, cheap and hopefully it is editable to some degree. All right, so we have a new pop out and it says deploy new collection, create contract, confirm creation of your contract or collection contract with your crypto wallet. That is my wallet, Xerxc 143 um, deploy price free, what? um that's amazing and we are going to uh so i guess the only thing we're going to pay for is the gas let's see what we got 13 dollars. my god you gotta be joking me all right i guess we'll go for it i guess that's cheap for the for an ethereum contract i guess um all right so we're going to add this content now um so that requires gas so let's see um, all right, so as, as I click start to add my con uh, content, it says uh, add your content. We make it easy for you to get your collection just right before adding it to the blockchain. You can preview your collection and make edits off the chain. Auto save, your work will automatically be saved so you can take breaks and save gas fees by getting the details right in advance. You'll reduce your edits. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and click get started. But before we do that, why don't you click subscribe and ding that bell button, all right? So we can uh, make more Wi-Fi bread together, all right? It's uh, all of my friends, fans, and fam that have allowed me to continue growing this channel and educating everybody on art and technology and uh, all kinds of other stuff, DNA healing, and uh, all we do fun stuff, the Bitsons. So, you know, thanks for all the support, guys. I appreciate you. All right, so let's build NFTs. Oh man, look at that. They have bundles, oh cool. So you can either drag and drop your media files like PNGs, JPEGs, um, and other media formats, I'm sure GIFs, and then, or you can drag them in a bundle and do a massive upload. Man, I wish I would have known that because I was kind of willing to do this one one at a time. Um, but that's okay because I'm making them one at a time. This is original art, so it doesn't have the same type of metadata that a building a collection would with the layer structure that your typical profile NFT collection has. So that's fine. So I'm going to be dragging and dropping media. So let me pull out my first piece here. So there we go, it's uploading, perfect. Oh, very cool, so you can add more than one, which is cool, uh, but we'll just do this tutorial, we'll just do one, my God, I don't wanna bore everyone with all of the NFTs I'm putting out, um, but we will go ahead and just do one at a time. Um, so this piece right here is We'll go ahead and so I, as you can see, I dragged mine in there. You also can click the file and add that in. Um, and so once your NFT as image has been loaded, we can go ahead and click the edit button. Um, this piece is called Graphantasy. 
and its description. This collection all has um, kind of quotes to the piece. Uh, so this one says, fantasy. fantasy is hardly an escape from reality. It's just a way of understanding it. All right, and then we have attributes. So let's go ahead and this is what I wanted to see. This is where your metadata is going to take place. Okay, so on this, um, you can see uh, our labels and values have now populated. So let me go ahead and put in the attributes of this piece and um, save some time here. All right, all right, all right. So we have the attributes put in here now. Um, I did these manually because this art was created manually. It wasn't ran through a art generator program. So uh, <laughs> to in the in the standard way, um, it was run through some uh, computer programs. That's for sure. So we have uh, the year 2022. The category is graffiti. The designer is artificial intelligence. The artist is CRISPR. The frame is gold, and the style is was in synthwave. So, yeah, this is my AI art collection. So, um, this looks good. Let's save that. All right, $7 for a mint fee. So, what are we at? 20, $20, $21, something like that one was minted oh my gosh so right now it's saying that we'll be able to uh list the nfts on the marketplace in a few minutes so let's go to the profile my profile here and see what it looks like now hold on okay so we're back on my profile at CRISPR at nftcoinbase.com slash at CRISPR. And so you can see now I have one, um, it looks like the AI collection here. Let's click that. So now you can see that we do have a collection here and it is manageable. So you should be able to sell um, or add new NFTs. So let's go back. So that's there you go. What is this one? Yeah, it's still going to be at CRISPR. So that's where that content is. Under my created, it says none. So it looks like it's trying. Boom. Okay. So it has officially been minted and and pulled up I wonder now so still can't I guess you could list it for sale here this probably needs refreshed no still can't list it but you can see here um, we can sell it for free it's a zero coinbase fees for a limited time so that's kind of another reason I wanted to do this is so I could start to show people um, the Coinbase NFT platform and its uh, feeless um, attribute right now. So let's go ahead and list this for sale. Okay, so we're back on my profile page and I'm just double checking because I don't want to pay twice, but on the collection page, the piece does not say list for sale it does here if i click on the piece it says list for sale but over here in that creation section it's still saying please wait but let's try and list for sale here we're going to list this nft now never um so the in listing ends never Canceling and active listing will occur in Ethereum gas fees. So perfect. Enter in the price. Um, I'm going to sell this one for 25 bucks to cover those fees.
perfect. So 0.02, I don't even know, like could one nine. Yeah, so let's just do 0.02. And that will come to $26 for that buyer. And we'll go ahead and confirm that price as well. And so once you click confirm, you have to approve it for the transfer. So we will go ahead and click open the wallet. $1.33. And so this is a new feature by MetaMask. We're giving the access to Coinbase. Go ahead and click confirm. All right, it looks like it has been approved. Now we're going to sign it. Oh, we're gonna click open the wallet. Uh, scroll down and click sign. All right. It's set to start in two minutes. Perfect. Awesome. So that is the full blown tutorial on how to create a collection on Coinbase NFT, how to add your NFT and the detailed data and metadata as well as how to list it. All of this was on the Ethereum chain. This was an ERC721 contract. This was minted and paid for by the artist and not the community and listed by me as well. So what that means is that now a user can come to this collection and buy this piece outright for 0.02 for 25 bucks and they don't have to pay any fees for the transfer for coinbase is doing free uh no fees so literally right out of the gate all you're paying is 25 dollars. you're not paying any transaction fees to transfer the nft so that's an incentive for my community i guess and anyone for that matter to to purchase my NFTs because, or at least the ones on Coinbase here, is because they're flat fee. That's the price of the piece. You get it outright, no more gas transfer fees at all. So, perfect. All right, well, that is how you do that whole process. I hope that you guys found that tutorial educational. If so, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell so I can keep making more videos for the art and crypto community. Um, like I said, my name is CRISPR. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you can take this information, make that Wi-Fi bread, and learn from my blockhead mistakes on how to uh, stumble your way through that whole process. If you guys like what you uh, got to see here, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. And remember, everybody, artists are gonna art.